What is up everyone? Welcome to What's Poppin' Craze. Today is my very first video on this channel. I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 favorite Funko Pops in my collection. These are not value based. These are just personal tastes. But let's do this. We have number 10. George Sanderson from Monsters Inc. This is actually one of the very few OG Disney Pops I have. And the reason I have him in my top 10 is because he has a sock on his back. I really like that. I just like the expression of his face, the colors. But yeah, 2319, number 10. Number nine, we have the Elvis Stitch Funko Pop from Lilo and Stitch. This pop has been going up recently. It's actually reaching the hundreds. And if you guys have seen that new Hula Lilo that just came out at Hot Topic a couple weeks ago, they both look really good next to each other. So if you have her and don't have him, get him now. The best stitch pop, in my opinion. Next up, we have number eight, Wally from Box Lunch. Like I said, the values on these are mixed up. This one's not worth too much, but I really like this pop. I like the uniqueness of the box style. It was recycled. It's my favorite Pixar character. And just the pop's design is amazing. I like it a lot more than the first Wally they made, which I also have. But let's go on to number seven. Number seven, we have Speedy Gonzalez from Looney Tunes. This is one of my very few animation pops I own. And it was actually the first one I got from the animations. And I, I really like this pop. I like the details, the size. I don't see myself getting rid of it one day, but here you go. We got Speedy Gonzalez. Next up, we have number six, Rex from Toy Story. This guy is insanely huge. And lately, it's been going up in value. It's about time. And... The reason for that is because they've made a new Toy Story set and they're actually going to make more for Toy Story 4 coming out. So if you guys don't have him, I recommend getting him because I don't think they're going to remake him. And the best news is that they're actually going to remake the Alien and Jesse. I have both of the old school ones, but I really like the new Jesse style better and the Alien. I'm going to keep the old one as well. But... I just like both versions. Next up, we have Toucan Sam from the Ed Icons. This guy is actually my favorite from the Icons. It's my favorite cereal. And I think the only reason Toucan Sam is worth less than Tony the Tiger is because Tony the Tiger was the very first Ed Icon cereal pop to come out. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> I might be wrong. Next up, we have the Glow in the Dark Chase from Kingdom Hearts. This is actually one of my favorite pops because of the glow, the details, and it's my favorite video game. So once again, it's just a biased choice. Number three, I have the Glow in the Dark White Walker from Game of Thrones. This pop's glow is just incredible. And one of these days, I might just go ahead and show all my glow-in-the-dark pops. See which one glows the best. And, yeah, I'll show you guys what this beauty does. Number three. Wintet is coming. Number two, we have Scar from The Lion King. This is actually my favorite movie of all time and my favorite villain of all time so it's been quite incredible seeing how high he's been going up he's past the hundreds and i think he's just gonna keep going up more if you don't have him and you're trying to collect the lion king series you should get him now i can't wait to see what they make him look like in the live action movie that's coming out this year but we're down to the last one, number one. This pop actually ended up winning in a raffle, which is called Waffles. 
And these are actually on Facebook, Instagram. You can find them anywhere. If you guys are trying to win a grail at a low price, it's the best way to do it. But it's risky. It's just like basically gambling. But here it is. The ultimate grail of all grails that I never thought I'd own. But I do own it now. Here it is. The Headless Ned from Game of Thrones. This pop has been one of the most wanted pops in my wish list. And the fact that I have it in my hand right now is just insane. I actually have taken it out because I wanted to see how it is. And it did not let me down. But if you guys are interested, I will definitely show you guys what it is outside of the box but thank you guys for watching that was my top 10 favorites and click that subscribe button if you guys want to see more i will be showing my disney pins as well every now and then but that's what it's all about over here what's popping craze pins and pops thanks